Hi, my name is Vicki Piccarelli, and I'm your sales director. Welcome to your Mary Kay business. I'm so looking forward to working with you and getting to know you and finding out what your hopes and dreams are with your Mary Kay business. My role is to mentor you, support you, train you, and teach you. And no matter what you want from your business, if you want to run, I'll run with you. If you want to walk, I'll walk with you. We are so excited to present this information on this video. You're gonna meet some of my best girlfriends, Rochelle and Amy, and we actually met, uh, met on a top director trip to Monte Carlo, Monaco. And we're gonna share some really important information with you about your Mary Kay business and some decisions that you're gonna want to make. I recommend that you listen to this and watch this very closely and choose to have so that special someone watch along with you so that they can help you make wise decisions for your business. I look forward to working with you. Let's take a walk down memory lane. Rochelle, where were you when you started your Mary Kay business? Well, I was 22 and I was single and I was a teacher and um, I just came to Mary Kay to make some extra money because I live paycheck to paycheck with a little bit of cushion, like yeah. a tiny bit. And um, I've done my 20s in Mary Kay now, I've done my 30s in Mary Kay and I'm doing my 40s now in Mary Kay, so I've pretty much grown up in, in Mary Kay. How did you feel when you started? What were your feelings? You know, I was so super excited. I really felt like I was meant to do this, but I also felt like this was kind of like my ticket. Like there was just something, it was just a motivating factor to do this business. And I'm so glad I did. Well, Vicki, what about you? Well, I was a little bit different when I first started my Mary Kay business. I was married, I had two children. Charlie was four and a half and Robbie was two and a half. Uh -huh. And I was home full time with them, but we needed extra money desperately. And so this seemed an answer to prayer, it really did. And I was excited, however, I was also very nervous and definitely some fear crept in because I had never owned my own business, run my own business, right. done my own thing. And so I just, I was excited, but nervous and trepidatious. Yeah. Well, a lot like both of you, young, I was 24 years old when I started, I was a newlywed. My husband was an officer in the military and he was gone a lot. I worked 60 to 80 hours a week at a full-time corporate job. And I started Mary Kay for fun. I really did. It's not that I didn't like my life. It was just a little uneventful. And I wanted something fun. And it looked like a lot of fun. And like you, I was nervous. I had no idea if I knew enough people. I was new in the town I was living in. And I didn't really know anyone. And I worked with all men. Uh, who's going to buy from me? So I was, I was scared. But at the same time, I was excited like you, Rochelle. Right. This could be it. This could be exactly what I'm looking for. You just yeah. never know. No, you never know. No. You, never you have know. to begin to know. Exactly. Got to give it a try. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Well, let's talk a little bit about where we were as we began and how we went about making the decision. Um, to start our business because we all make our own independent decision, which is mm -hmm. exciting. So, um, Rochelle, what do you think are some of the benefits of beginning a business as a business, having product on hand? Let's talk about that. Well, I came into Mary Kay to obviously, you know, make money. And I think most women come into Mary Kay to make money. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, it's not all about the money over time. But um, living paycheck to paycheck, I knew that if I was going to work this as a business, I had to make some good business decisions. Mm -hmm. And being 22, when they did talk to me about product, that scared me, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the largest purchase at that point I'd ever made was a house, and I was locked in for 30 years. <laughs> and so um, when I came into Mary Kay, I knew no one, just like you. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking, you know, okay, I'm going to buy all this stuff, and like, who am I going to sell it to? And so um, I came in, and I did, um, you know, I did full inventory when I first came in. Okay. So, yeah. Smart decision. Yeah, it was. Smart decision. Yeah. Well, I think one of the benefits of that is um, time. Um, time is a huge factor. Um, 
know, we, we all have it. We all have 168 hours in a week, but how do we spend it? Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the values of a Mary Kay business. Vicki, how did you choose? You know, you were home, you were busy as a mom, mm -hmm. and you knew that when you left the house that it needed to be um, quality time when you worked. So um, how did that, how did time maybe drive your decision and how you chose to start your business? Absolutely, I mean, that was a big part of it because if I was, there were times where I needed to get a sitter because Robert was working or right. traveling, and so if I was gonna be out of the house, it had to, I had to be profitable when I came home. And so I knew that women are impulse buyers. Mm -hmm. They buy what they see. Mm -hmm. You know, none of us walk into a store with a list and come out with exactly what was on that list. There's right. always more things that we see that we need and want and go home with. Right. And so having product with me at my parties was a scary decision, but a, it was a very important decision. And Absolutely. it was necessary to the su success of my business. And I also didn't want to lose customers. Mm -hmm. You know, um, customer loyalty is very important because women reorder this product. Exactly. And if they think they have to wait for a long period of time to get it, they tend to not stay loyal. You know, there's a drugstore on the corner of every single intersection. Exactly. And our biggest competitor, I feel, is convenience. It's not another line, it's convenience. True. And so having the product on hand is a tremendously important part of this business. Exactly. Well, I found the greatest gift that Mary Kay gave to me when I started was the 90% buyback guarantee. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. That that was my security blanket. That mm -hmm. helped Chris and me to make the mm -hmm. final deci decision to treat this like it was a business. I was working 60 to 80 hours a week. So if I was going to take three hours to go work my Mary Kay business on a Saturday morning, I did not have another three hours on a Sunday to go to back deliver. and re-deliver a product. Mm -hmm. And absolutely. I love the fact that it was the, it is a consumable product and so women want it, but that 90 percent buyback guarantee a one-year 90 percent buyback guarantee that showed me that Mary Kay was willing to take the risk and I, to me it proved our credibility Absolutely. it proved that Mary Kay was willing to stand behind the product yep. that all I had to do was give it a try and let women mm -hmm. play with it and who knows they just might mm -hmm. buy it and sure enough we've all found that if they experience they it they, buy they it. do and yeah. I have found too that the 90% buyback guarantee shows how important Mary Kay thinks it is to have the product Absolutely. on hand. Yeah. They want to give consultants everything that they could possibly have to be mm -hmm. successful in this business and so they are willing to take the risk yeah. so we don't have to. And that was huge for me, you know, and I think that Robert talked to me as an independent financial consultant. He was yeah. able to talk to me yeah. about the difference between mm -hmm. debt and investment. Investing. And yeah. we weren't in a good financial position. We had a lot of debt. And he talked to me about the difference between when you're investing in a business, there's exactly. a difference between debt right. and investment. Absolutely. And this was a very wise investment, doubling your money. Mm, exactly. Nothing else doubles your money, like no. Mary Kay. Exactly. So You sure can't go to Vegas and get those kind of odds, no. can you? No. <laughs> no way that you double your money. I think that's important. Well, also too, when I finally did make the decision, because I did dabble a little bit, and once I did make the decision, like when you go to a party or you go to a skincare class or whatever, for you to be able to sell that product that night and really truly sell about 40 to 60% more mm -hmm. just for mm -hmm. having the product mm -hmm. and the convenience factor of the customer. And also too, it helped me because I knew no one. So they weren't gonna trust me. I'm like, yeah, I'll order your product, whatever. Right. And so getting it back just you know, immediately, it was just so they amazing. They give you money, you give, give them product. Yes. And it was just immediate so, transaction. It was such an immediate yes. transaction. Mm -hmm. And so that made it easier for me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, you're right because they need to know that they can trust mm -hmm. and they don't go home and lose their excitement. Right. Once she's gone, ho gone home and tried the cleanser, she's not giving it back to right. you. No. She's already fallen in love and she's already decided what color she's wearing tomorrow in her wardrobe with a brand new lipstick that she picked exactly. just like home. And her girlfriend's going to trust you also because, I mean, she got her product immediately and so her girlfriend, you know, she's going to give you referrals because she's a satisfied customer. That's so right. it only makes sense. Absolutely. Right. We have a lot of competition out there in the cosmetics industry, Absolutely. but what sets us apart is that personal service mm -hmm. that we can give our customers. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk a little bit now, Vicki. Um, take us into now, let's get real specific about the inventory. How about that? Let's talk about what that's that can idea. look like. I think it's great. Absolutely. Okay. So yeah. the importance of having product on hand. Okay. Um, so we already talked a little bit about the immediate transaction mm -hmm. right. and the customer service. Mm -hmm. And you talked about the delivery on spot so you don't have to deliver a product. So you save time and you save mm -hmm. money. Yeah. 
and um, you're also able to make a greater profit because you're going to sell more, you're going to be able to keep more money in your pocket because you're not exactly. spending on gas and time. Yeah. And of course, one of the most important things that we offer to our consultants is um, financial and money management training. Absolutely. We are absolutely going to provide that so that we teach them how to be an entrepreneur. How do you run a Mary Kay business? We're gonna teach them all that. And I love, that's what I love so much, was knowing that there was someone there that's gonna walk me through exactly. this every step absolutely. of step. the way, yep. step by step. Yep. So our goal from the beginning was to get our investment paid off mm -hmm. and then be able to that profit level, what we call profit level, so that you get to keep all of your profit. Exactly. And then pay off the credit card as quickly as possible so that you know, have income that coming in. Plan. Right? Yeah. Well, don't you feel it's, you know, exciting to have inventory on hand because you have a reason to sell and you have product there. And product isn't mandatory, but I really just feel that having product, you know, is a privilege. It is. It's Absolutely. a privilege. There are some direct sales companies out there that don't allow you to have product on hand. Yeah. And they handicap their consultants because you can't have the customer service to offer exactly. that we have. It so loses the privilege. sizzle. It yes. loses the sizzle. Yeah, absolutely. It does. Absolutely. It does. So because of that, Mary Kay wants to give us everything that they possibly can to be successful. And so they encourage us to start with product exactly. by giving us free product up front, which is such a blessing. Yeah. So at each different level of inventory, you get a different amount of free product from Mary Kay. Exactly. And you only get on your very first order. That's and so my suggestion is always take advantage of, of as much of that free product as you possibly can. Yeah. Yep. So between the free products, the 90% buyback guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Absolutely. You have yeah. nothing to lose. And that Absolutely. was it. That was it for us. Yeah. All right. So let's dive into that, shall we? Vicki, let's get more specific okay. about Sounds the great. different packages that are available. All right. Sounds Ready? Great. Here we go. Here we go. So now that we've talked about all the reasons to have inventory, let's go ahead and take a look at what that should look like. As you're choosing how much to start with, I think it's important to understand that no matter which level you decide on, it's customizable, meaning that we will get together with you, talk about your needs, and we'll customize your order so that it meets all of your needs and you end up having all the product you need and not any product that you don't. Secondly, it's good to remember that it doesn't take up a lot of space. A full inventory amount will only take up, for instance, two Tupperwares with three drawers in each. The product lasts for three to five years, so it's not necessary for you to feel like selling it immediately and there is a 90% buyback guarantee on all the products. Mary Kay stands behind that. So we're going to go ahead and start at the top level which we call full inventory. This is $3,600 of wholesale product. You sell it for $7,200. It's enough for about 45 faces. This is what we consider profit level. Meaning that if you're looking at earning a car and becoming a sales director, you will not to need to invest a lot of extra income in building your inventory. This is everything that you'll need to get yourself there. It's an Emerald Star Consultant level, which means that you'll get all the benefits of being a star consultant, including the referrals from Mary Kay. And with this level, you get over $750 of free product from Mary Kay on your first order and only on your first order. Now let's take a look at the 3000 wholesale level. It sells for 6000. It's enough for 30 to 35 faces and you will be a diamond star consultant at this level. You will also receive over $650 of free product from Mary Kay. Okay, let's look at the 2400 wholesale level. You buy it for 24 and you sell it for 4800. It will basically do about 20 to 25 faces and it will make you a Ruby Star level. There's over $550 worth of free product from Mary Kay. All right, so this next level is an 1800 level. It's the lowest star consultant level. So this is the lowest level you can start with and still receive those wonderful benefits of having the referrals from the company. So you sell this package for $3,600 it's about enough for 15 to 20 faces. It makes you, like I said, a Sapphire Star Consultant. 
and you'll be getting over $450 of free products from Mary Kay at this level. Now take a look at the 1200 wholesale. It sells for 2400 retail. It's enough for 10 to 15 faces, but you're not quite a star consultant at this level, but you will receive over $350 of free product from Mary Kay. Let's look at the 600 wholesale level. You buy it for six, and then of course you can sell it for 12. This will do about six to eight faces. You're not a star consultant, and you can earn up to 250 free of Mary Kay product. The 600 wholesale level that you buy for six and you sell for 12 is the lowest level that you can receive free Mary Kay product.